back for another video today. Um, we're back up for him again. You can see uh, on the stubbles we're ripping up uh, tram lines. And to explain a bit about why we do this um, operation, people who know, um, I expect you might want to brush past this video, but people would like to know a bit more about farming and what we do. Um, this video is for them. Uh, you see, I got 7718 on the front. I am going to be doing a video to review the tractor, this one, and the R6490. Um, and like I said in one of my previous videos, this isn't an ad for a dealer, it's, it's a video I want to make myself um, to say what I think about the tractor now after we've run it for um, 12 months. So, the subsoil we got on the back of the tractor is a Rattoon. And on a Rattoon, it's slightly different to normal uh, subsoilers. This isn't a two leg, what we use to come. Um, if I show it's not a two leg what comes down the uh, tram line what a lot of people have we've got um, you've got three in the front so we've got six legs in total and if you can see from the from the subsoil legs as well they're not a straight leg if I come this way you'll see the leg has got a curve it curves down like that and on the bottom we've got a, a bullet uh, with a tight with a welded on feet at the front pull for the ground to bust the pan up in the bottom. And why we do this is, uh, let me show you on this one, it'd be better. This is where the sprayer runs. And when I put fertilizer and we do spraying, we run up and down that tram line all the time. So in the two wheelings either side, there's a lot of compaction because that's where the wheel stays every time to spray, fertilizer, um, all, all throughout the crop that stays there. So if we didn't bust it up, you get, you probably see uh, when we come to drill, you probably see um, a line where the tram line used to be. Um, so what happens is with the leg, we're about in between eight, eight inches and nine, but between eight and nine inches we're in. We're into about here, we're just into about here, sorry. We're not in really deep, um, there's enough just to bust the uh, pan up. As you can see, this is the um, welded on um, foot feet. Um, on a rattoon, um, you can replace our complete foot or you can just weld ones on the front and then the nine times of ten, uh, quite a bit of the time we weld ones on the front when they get really wear out, right? we change them by knocking out the uh, roll pins out of there, dropping the foot off and having another foot. But if you can see, fairly straw in this tram line, but what we're doing is the foot goes in, it goes underneath the ground, lifts the ground up, busts the pan where the wheeling's are and busts up the tram line. I'll show you what happens behind, if I come behind you, just to show you what happens is we uh, bust up and then uh, all the bust up ground, uh, this is quite hard actually, all the bust up ground comes up to the top, the crumbler on the back pushes it back down to leave it looking like that through the pass after the um, tram line has been busted up. And just to show you the difference before and after, that's before. Um, before we subsoil it, and this is after we've um, subsoiled um, the ground. Um, like I said, there's a lot, there's a lot of subsoilers on the market. Like I said, this is a Rattoon. I know McConnell make one. I know um, all um, Sumo make one. All different types of uh, subsoilers. The subsoilers are good to break, break up the pan um, in the tram lines. So I'm going to do a bit of a video now showing the subsoil working behind and then as that finishes I'll uh, say my goodbyes and um, see you next time so bear with us and, and uh, stay watching to the end.